resilience is much more than a buzzword. Resilience is one of the key concepts of sustainable development, and it will be a major issue in Rio Plus 20. Why resilience? What is resilience? First of all, it helps to prepare countries and communities for future shocks without losing the benefits of past progress. In times of need, it gives a community an additional capacity to resist a shock. After a shock, it fills the gaps between the stage of relief and development activities. Those are the reasons why building resilience is one of the four major objectives of the French humanitarian strategy. On an equal footing, for instance, as bringing a speedy response to victims' need. In the long run, development strategies should include special programs or action that help building resilience over time. Agriculture, health are critical in that regard. For instance, some countries are extremely vulnerable to climate change, so steps should be taken beforehand in order to reduce soil erosion. In a country which is earthquake prone, hospitals should be built according to earthquake resistance standards. In the short term, when a natural disaster strikes, victim receives emergency assistance, but steps should also be taken in order to improve their ability to recover. In the Horn of Africa, for instance, in spring 2011, we swiftly mobilized 20 million euros to respond to the situation of food shortage. 15% of that money were allocated to agricultural projects in order to support the resilience of the communities. Let me take a different example. In Haiti, in 2010, we sponsored a special project in order to enable people to continue use short messages over mobile phones in case of earthquake. 